Hello everyone, welcome to the Context Needed Podcast. I'm Kyle, joined by Mr. Trash Boy with the shaved beard, Ryan. And the chins. All the chins. If, if chins were like Pokemon, Ryan would have them all. Jesus <laughs> and <laughs> super rare gacha washy boy with the white white face it is ollie <laughs> that's that that's that ebay face that is that is that auto trader face oh <laughs> uh, so, um, i'm not gonna lie i'm just before we start i'm gonna be a little distracted because i have to research this now if it's if i'm right I found my car. It's it's part of oh, it it Minecraft thing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, it is part of what we what we was wanting to talk about today. Anyway, but before we do go forward with the podcast, there has been some uh, maintenance issues with the internet provider around my area. So if the uh, if the podcast does drop, we won't be able to get it back up live. We're still recording it my side, so they will still go live on the audio services tomorrow at eight, and it will go live on YouTube on Monday at eight as usual as well. But going forward, seeing as Ollie is still currently looking, we wanted to talk about our cars that we've had, the previous quirks they've had, the lemons we've drove, and just maybe the buying of cars experience as a whole because ollie's current literally as we speak looking at a car that he think he thinks may have found the golden one i was literally i don't know i don't know it could be but it might not be i can't i've contacted (laughs) them but i don't think they're going to be open at 9 p.m so i'll have to wait (laughs) yeah on on a saturday why aren't you open at 9 p.m on a saturday (laughs) It will be him, like at the dealership doing the Eric Andre. Let me in, let me in. Because <laughs> his nose up against the glass. Oh, and, they're, and they're not open until Monday, so it's gonna be. I'm gonna be tortured. <laughs> it's good. You're gonna be going checking it constantly. I'm literally you looking at it right now, and it's just like, oh, oh, please be the right one. Oh yeah, because because Ollie's it's looking so at them right now. Me, me, and the wife literally went and looked at a Civic earlier, and just like like basically made the agreement for a civic earlier as well so <laughs> i mean i think ryan you've been talking about potentially looking at cars as well haven't you yeah it's like space i mean that's the main thing for me yeah. like in, in a in a ideal world there won't be so many people on my street who drive little shit cars and then park badly and take up loads of space so i'm sat there like fuck off i want to be able to put another car on the road with like the parking situation it's it's shitty everywhere you go because i remember before the current neighbors we've got moved in we had um so you've you've seen my house haven't you ryan so it's like yeah yeah, yeah. the end of a road to a it's not tea. it's not ideal yeah it's there's really like literally you go down a quiet road to a t which is like a turning point everyone has double driveways pretty much but there was the house that's like at the other corner of the T from us. So like if we're here, there's the T here. And their driveway <clears> is like enough for like three normal size saloon cars. Like you could fit three Vauxhall Vectras there. And they um the p- people who used to live there before They had they, four Vauxhall Vectras. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> they they'd leave like it was like a Toyota Igo on the front of the drive. And then always have the other guy park out on the actual road, but he'd never park always like really close to the curb. So every now and then, the other side of him, a van would have to park on the on the path, and they'd literally like block the access to to the to the end of the street at times. But I remember That's seeing I remember seeing one point. I think the guy who was the other side who had the van had to have another van but it was like a wagon style van like a flatbed so where the way he'd parked you physically couldn't park the other side otherwise it wasn't like you was kind of blocking it was like no you'd be 100 percent blocking it so he left it there and i remember getting out of my car as they was getting out of their car uh, the the dickhead neighbors who were parking and the woman started having a feel like if you've got something that big you should be parking on the drive even though they never parked their big car on the drive, it was the little city car they'd park on the drive. I just felt like say saying like maybe you should take a leaf out of your own book. Book <laughs> preaching it, but you're not really following it, are you? Yeah. I mean, 
we we've had some dickhead well luckily they've recently left i won't name any names to say anything but they got this fucking <laughs> shitty van like scutty van not washed yeah. not cleaned full of shite in the front you know proper white Just, van man well he couldn't park that she couldn't park this fucking four fake like four before she had and you'd just be there like, do you fucking mind? I was like, and then they were like, oh, they're going. And I was like, oh, and they went. And then we've got people in who are taking up. Well, they're not, they're not as bad, but I think they've still got two cars, I think. So it's like, fuck off. Find somewhere with a drive. <laughs> buy that. Because there's people who go and buy houses and they've got like four cars, but not a drive. And they don't get a house with a drive. It's like, Why? Why do that? Like, I'm quite lucky to have a drive for two and then we can park on the road in front of a house. And if you really wanted to, you could park and block the drive as well. But you'd have to be the first yeah. person out in the morning. Uh, yeah. I remember um, there used to be uh, where Danny used to live um, in the village down the road. Uh, there was a family opposite. And they used to keep this fucking shitty old battered, like, Citroen van. It wasn't even like it was like a special one. It was just like a generic kind of Citroen little fucking like caddy little van. Work van, yeah. And it never came off the drive, but they left it on their drive. And then the car they actually used, they used to park on the road. But I'd been parking on the road on the other side and a bit up for years and years. And then they turned up and they just started parking like on the opposite side and would block the road. But for some reason, all the residents in the village decided it was my fault, even though I'd been parking there first and they turned up. And it was just like, oh, they were the fucking worst. And they do we don't like the here. Well. Yeah, oh, it's like the like local people. I, I it's really, a local I, shop. I hate it when you get shit like that, when people like get. Like, I understand, like, when people park shit and get in the way and stuff, but like the amount of times it's like the little villagers that try and keep like the, the image of the village and it's like, Oh, you shouldn't park there. It makes it, it makes it look bad, but then you can literally just go, no, fuck you. Literally road law states. I can park it, here. It doesn't, meet with, <laughs> it doesn't meet with the village's rustic aesthetic. <laughs> well, it was like, did you, do you remember reading the story? There was like an older guy who lived out in like a really like proper rustic village that used to win like awards for the way it looked. And he had a bright yellow Corsa and it got vandalized by the residents because they said it wasn't keeping up with the village's appearance. So I remember it, it, <laughs> vandalism's fine. Yeah, but it, like, I'm sorry, sure let it, me just go and buy an old like Herald or a fucking <laughs> just <laughs> fucking a Ford like Mor Marina. Yeah, but, Morris Marina. <laughs> yeah. I, rem I just remember like after that, it made like a big news on like I think it was like Car Throttle posted it and a load of other car websites posted it. And they did this big car rally going through the village, all of them in <laughs> bright yellow cars. But it wasn't just like normal cars. Like there was people in bright yellow Lamborghinis and Ferraris driving through this idyllic village, revving the <laughs> fuck out of their engines. <laughs> Good. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like he he ended up getting insurance payout for it, and then went and got a lime green car as well. Ooh, yes. spicy. <laughs> he's probably memeing them. He's, Is he's, it? Just, he's literally doing the come at me bro thing right there. <laughs> yeah. to, to, to honest, talking of cars, I've noticed recently, there's a there's a lad who I used to go to school with who now lives down at the end of my street who um, he used to have like a, a Seat Leon. It was diesel, but he, he'd done stuff to it and he made it go. Yeah, and he got rid of that, and he's been in like work vans. But this three fifty Z's turned up at the end of my street, and I'm like, wonder Ooh. if it's his. I, I I'm pretty sure it's his. If it's not, it's one of his mates. But I'm just like, please, boy, I want to see you send that fucker. I want to see it <laughs> yeah. going. I I've seen it those, I'm actually. like, ooh. I still need to get Becky to send me the video because I remember when when she bought the cash Kai. Um, I kept on saying to the the dealers, like when there was coming out with like the PCP deals and stuff, I kept on saying, does that come with a free GTR? So it got to the point where they went, if she accepts this or the next deal, we'll let you have a test driving one. And she ended up accepting one of the deals. So like the next week I got to go drive a GTR and she sat in the back mm -hmm. having to lay across the seats because there's me and another <laughs> six foot four guy in the front seat because you have to have, have, to have <laughs> the guy there for the um, insurance purposes. 
And it got to the point where we was um was driving down some B roads, got to like a little village, and it was a I think it was like a thirty road. And it then goes up to a seventy, and there was no one behind me. So I literally just said to it, said, "I'm gonna literally creep up to the seventy and then." fucking floor it and he went yeah go for it send Send it it. the guy who was sat in the car with me from nissan um was like literally fucking send it send it bro (laughs) becky didn't hear me say this so she (laughs) said in the back i absolutely fucking send this gtr and all you hear from the back is ow because <laughs> she's she, she banged her head against the pillar as i sent it <laughs> she's there like oh my god like, oh, geez. She's, like, she's like pinned on the rear windscreen <laughs> i've 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 been in oh. fast cars before but the way that thing accelerated was just insane oh, ridiculous it is insane so it's awfully bright D- dream yeah. Dream cars. That oh, just mm, I'd mm, I'd skyline. love to Give me a skyline. I've I'd love to skyline. be able to take a GTR like round a track. That would be just to be able to literally just go balls to the wall with it. I don't even know. Like I kind of look at Donington's track days. Donington's an okay track. Yeah, no, it's decent. It's my dad went road for a, He, my dad did a. Uh, a good life for your X five. Oh yeah. Uh, my dad did a what's it called down there? He did a uh, rally car, like rally car experience. Old, yeah, where you're going yeah. over the dirt rally car, and he, that was really good. Uh, and then he got to do like we didn't even realize we'd booked him this session where he did this rally car thing, and then like, oh yeah, you've got a a four before experience as well. And we're like, oh nice, oh that'd okay, be fun. Sure, okay. sound. <laughs> we got to do he got to do this four uh, before experience in this really nice uh, Land Rover Defender. Uh, and the guy was like, wait, like you really know what you're doing? It's like, yeah, I drive, I literally drive for a living. <laughs> he just does a little <laughs> truck drive. <laughs> so this guy's like, I don't even need to teach you anything. You just, you just, because obviously he's driven them before. He's just like, you, you just, you just do you. Do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it. You just have a good time. I think that's one Ooh, thing. I could drive. Sorry, they, they're one of their first driving experiences. Drive a BMW M4. Ooh, <laughs> spicy. Ooh. I mean, I've, um, oh, I've not. It, that'd be pretty good. Well, I think the issue with those like supercar ones and the sports car ones is, I remember they don't let you drive them fast. <laughs> yeah, that was the issue because I, I was, lo- I think we was looking at doing that for my stag do. Me and Tom were, but then you'd like look at the reviews of them and stuff, and it was like it's fine if you're not a car guy and you just want to have a feel for like some car you're never going to be able to attain kind of thing. Yeah. But if yeah. you like, if you actually like to put the pin. Drive to the metal <laughs> and drive. They they don't let you. That you can't no. really yeah, the like. Insurance is way too much for them. Yeah, but it's just like some of them. It's like I can understand when it's like a fucking limited edition Huracan or something like that. But some of them, it's like it's 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 an M three. I, I understand. Or it's the first ex- gen GTR yeah. or something. Yeah. I I understand. Like okay, this is an expensive free series. It's still a free series. It's got yeah. all the bells and whistles. We've got heated seats. I'm like, I'm here to drive <laughs> fast, boy. Don't turn, don't turn I'm those on. I'm here to toast my ass. <laughs> I um, I won one of those a uh, track day experience, and then I googled it, and yeah, I saw the reviews, and everyone was just like, the cars are in really bad. Like they had a GTR, and they're like, the GTR was really poorly because the turbos have never spooled on it. So it's like the GTR felt really like sluggish. They wouldn't let you. It's like they'd let you briefly put your foot down, but like. You couldn't was carry it. any... You had to literally like, slow down and creep around the corners. And it was just like, oh, I don't want to just... What's Here's the point? One, you know, Rally Master, you get to drive a yeah. Toyota GT86. And it's like... Oh, I don't know. That would be a good laugh. On that would be fun for Rally, car, yeah. I mean, it's like... There's like all the cars that are in there. It's like the car you get when you want like another car it's like if you wanted a super or something it's like oh here here you go here's 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 that but not as good i i'd love to do a rally rally. (laughs) i'd love to do a rally experience with like some of the older like top tier rally cars like thinking like the toyota Celica gt40 um some of the older impressors that they used to do and then there was um i remember there was the mini cooper that 
just wrecked everyone because it was so light yeah. kind of thing. And then there was well, like that was the first the first Mini Cooper won the Monte Carlo Rally. Like, yeah, because was, wasn't there Still as well like, like that, the, um, Escort Escort Cosworth RS did did win a few as well with the the mighty picnic yeah. table on the back of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like. I mean, to, I've launched um, after this, kids. Don't you worry. I, I would like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just like all sat around with like plastic chairs on like the on the rear windscreen <laughs> um i'd like to try like a group b car or something like that that'd be a was, laugh was, but, was um, group b the one that got banned to... yes because it kept killing people yeah it kept killing people didn't it yeah i remember that now even what? though the, the car because people are like oh they they were the fastest it's like current wrc cars are easily faster than the old group b cars yeah. it's more so they that was back when they literally just took a car and went, let's just turn the turbos up and see what happens. Because that's pretty much all most of them were. Like, yeah. how fast can we make this bitch? Well, the RS200 was, I want to say it was basically the Cosworth engine, and then they just whapped a massive turbo on it. Uh, there was the Audi Quattro, where, um, I can't remember his name, It's uh, his second name's Gumpert, he made the Apollo, uh, the Gumpert Apollo. He was the person who basically said, why don't we put four-wheel drive in a road car like that isn't an SUV? And they made the Quattro. Yeah. And then there was... Um, Toyota actually made a Group BMR2, but um, well, the- it never made it to... It never came out yeah, because Group cause- B got banned before they finished it. Yeah, I've just I've just literally Googled some of the cars that were in the Group B hour, and literally the first one that comes up, Audi Quattro. Yeah, it's the most famous. It's yeah, the sound to it as well. Oh, the, Lan- the, the Lancia Quattro. Delta S4, though. <laughs> the only Quattro I'd be interested in driving is the one off um, Life on Mars and uh, Ashes to Ashes. Oh, <laughs> just so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just so it's, you can start quoting the show. It's it's um It was a show on BBC where basically... I never, I never watched Ashes to Ashes. I watched Life on Mars where basically... For Life on Mars, it was like a chief detective or head detective for like the London police, and he gets into a car accident or something. Yeah, but he ends up going back like twenty or thirty years. He's still it's himself. He's still in the police force, but he's like in the old school police force kind of thing. And it's, it's the right. idea is he's in a what's coma. The, what's the actor's name? Um, what's the actor's it, name? Who... It's not where Fire Up the Quattro comes from. Yeah, isn't it? Fi- yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've, that's he- I've heard from. that, but I didn't know what it was from. Yeah, let me let me get the um, actor's no. name. I say it was, it was a UR Quattro, that. I think. It was I'm a UR. Sure that was a long what, I base. saw that Quattro at the classic car show. Probably get my it was, Instagram it, up. It was John Sim saw, and Philip Glenister. I saw the um, you know, the little uh, tiny car that Jeremy Clarkson drove around the BBC officers. The PLP yeah. fifty. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw that very car. Just we should drive that that into the office at work. That (laughs) that was my dream car, guys. (laughs) (laughs) But the one you get on when you get it on um, on uh, on Force Thingy Horizons. Put the stupid engine in the car. You just whack a massive engine on it. I think what I did see. um, There must have there was a few of them actually. There must have been like an owners' club or something. You know the BMW i Setter. It's a bit bigger than the Peel. I... There was like four of those in Shrewsbury parked up the other day when I was on my way home from um, from work, and it was just like the fuck. There's like four of them all parked up. I've never seen. Wait, what? I didn't know that was a BMW. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh there was like God. four of them. <laughs> there was like a, uh, two yellow ones. I think there's a blue and a, a white Wait, one. Apparently, and it was just you like... can fit. Apparently, you can fit two people in them. Imagine me two. being in that. <laughs> you can fit. You can fit four Open if you the come window. Up. <laughs> oh, yeah, <that> window. <laughs> to be honest, uh, we were talking about talking about buying cars. Though we saw an FC, oh, an FC for sale. Oh, the an RX was it the RX seven uh, you were about? It was RX seven FC. Yeah, yeah that one we saw the other one. day on Auto Trader. I was like. I uh, I saw that because I was I was because I've I've set my budget a lot higher than I would have previously for cars and I've kind of come mm. to the conclusion I can afford some really silly cars at the moment. Yeah, well, I was like, you know, I, I want to. Well, I'm going for a Volvo, but I've realised I did another economy run in the Jimny the other day and uh, it came back at 19 miles per gallon. So that's that's worse than my Z4 <laughs> when I had that. My Z4 was 22. That's worse. That's worse than a five-liter V8 supercharged Jaguar XFR, 
which I can currently afford. <laughs> I was just like, so, so why are you still here? <laughs> well, I have to admit, you stole it's, it's, all your cards and bought one. The tax is quite expensive but i yeah. can afford it the insurance isn't actually that bad at all like, See, yeah. it's a bit more expensive than what i'm paying but not a lot with with but, my mx5 i'm like i could sell that and i could pick up an rx7 like the well this fc i could pick up but it's just like it's yeah, not you're really gonna, a you, daily driver you, you're gonna have like uh, it's a class rebuild, car definitely now. yeah because i think oh, it was the, didn't even rebuild, like because didn't you see even if a, you had an fd yeah mm. but didn't you i was see looking to get was, an fd um, originally didn't you see there was a, an RX-8 or something? Because I remember there was the new guy who was seeing it, and he went, oh, that's not a bad price for that, especially at that mileage. And it was like a 70,000 miles. And I went, yeah, the reason why it's not a bad price is because at that mileage, the Apex seals need changing, which is a full engine rebuild. And he was like, yeah, was, the, the, <laughs> he was a bit confused the about new that. Guy, <laughs> the new guy is like, he's 37, he's just learning to drive, but he's only learning to drive automatic and has no idea about cars. Don't get me wrong. I'm no expert in cars, but he was just there. Like the first thing I saw is he got Mercs up, and I'm like, yeah, he's looking at Mercedes. <laughs> I was like, you know are you what? Trying I... to fit into the stereotype here? Are you trying to fit into was... the stereotype? You're currently dropping yourself. I in? was just going... making it worse. <laughs> I met so exactly like that. And you know when someone's not a car guy, when you mention a Volvo Polestar, and they go, "Oh, it's just a Volvo." It's like you have no idea what hmm. you're talking about, do you? <laughs> like, you know, you know they understand at least something when you mention Polestar, and they go, "Hmm." <laughs> okay. Okay. I yeah. <laughs> but no, I, but I'm okay I exactly with this that. decision. Someone was like, "Oh, you sh well, uh, they said, oh, that's, that's boring." I said, "Okay, what would you suggest?" And then they sent me a fucking uh, a Mercedes E220 CDI Blue Tech, and I was just like, "Oh, yeah." yeah. Mm. I drove one of those. I that's drove one of those. It was so boring. They're comfy. They're oh yeah, comfy. It was but yeah, it's just like. Because it was, um, no. we, we, went, we went to, um, it was like a reception party for one of Becky's family members. And um, uh, the father-in-law's Audi was in the garage. Um, so he was given, I think it was literally an E220 Bluetech, uh, whatever they call yeah. it, Mercedes for his like um, courtesy car. And I wasn't drinking that night. I just wasn't feeling drinking. So I had like a shandy and I just said, nah, I just don't feel like drinking. So I just said to Andy, like, Andy, I've got fully comp. If you want to have a few more beers, our driver's back. It's fine. And he was like, oh, but it's a courtesy car. I said, yeah, but it will go off your insurance. It's fine. I don't think it did go off his insurance. So I probably broke the law there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it was literally, he, just, he finished his drink and then I just saw this look in his eye and then he walked off and he went, I'll be driving home tonight. I didn't even need to see him come back with the second beer before I felt him put the keys in my pocket. It's like I knew as soon as he walked off, I was driving it. I was just driving back and it was just, yeah, it was comfy. Yawn. Yeah, it was quiet. But my God, it's so like, literally, like you said, yawn inducing. It was so tedious. Yeah, yeah so, it's just gone. I'd really like Honda Civic really like a honda civic like an old like 90s era honda civic oh the older like bubble it's shape it. yeah it, one where i can i can slam it to the ground it just looks fucking clean and oh and i found one which is a show car uh and oh boy the rear end is orange <laughs> the, front, <laughs> the front is this like these flames ollie i'm getting a distinct <laughs> tasting of rice right now <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah yeah fucking ricer bro oh the interior is yellow <laughs> like, like, like it's, it literally says it says it, wait this is this is the description on auto trader one point six is a honda civic 1989 1.6 crx three door 130 rate horsepower stunning crx all in caps hyphen Show car exclamation mark exclamation mark, mate! If you turned up to a yeah. show in something yeah. a like this, show, bro, a show car from the fucking Fast and the Furious one days, more like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Bro, like, Ma do you remember the Max Power days? That was a yeah. dark time for motoring. Oh. It was like, just all that's the reason just down the side Supras. of your car, kid. It was just literally that's the reason Supras are so expensive. Yeah. Oh. It's literally Kyle. like. Oh, you, you need sent to bring it this me. up on screen. Have you I'm going to send it to you on Thingy. You need to bring it up. Here you send are. it I need on to see Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, so I can see. Yeah, I'm just doing that. You, you need, need to bring to this, this up so people can experience Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm about to look at it. I'm about to look at it. Oh, the, the, the screen setting in the I'm... back is so bad. Oh my God. Okay, I'm... Um... Oh, my God. 
I'm just going to I'm going to change the screen over to um the one where I'm currently looking okay, at. Okay, right. So I'm, oh, it's not a car. I've got another car on the side of it it's, as well. Driving I'm gonna, in the opposite direction. It's, I'm going to just narrate it for anybody that's listening and not obviously viewing it. So I'm going to try and explain it's what is burning my retinas. <laughs> it's got the butterfly doors. Butterfly? <laughs> They're called Gullwing, you cretin. <laughs> no, Gullwing is when they open directly oh, Lam- out. Tell I. They're Lambo doors. They're yeah. Lambo doors, sorry. Okay, so it's it's a Honda CRX for starters. Uh, it's... In It's kind of... It looks like it's on fire. Like, it I, when Ryan said flames, I was envisioning like cartoony flames. It's more like it's been wrapped with like a HD texture of flames it's all the, over. The fucking exhaust. Like Minecraft, H- it has... Minecraft HD texture pack flames. Yes, yeah, like, ex- <laughs> so, so it's flames at the front and it fades to like a solid. Uh, it is just orange on the back. It There's is a picture of somebody's of face on the front of that. Can you see the picture of someone's face? I just yep. can't make out who the fuck it is. Um, Let me see. I'm I'd also try like to add, a picture. I think it also has... Yeah, it does. It has reversing cameras on it. Um, but the exhausts... I reckon I could get my head in each yeah, of those. Yeah, I was about to say, you could get your head in them. Generous, a generously sized exhaust, and then well, you, the interior the is stick, a mixture Look at the gear stick. Of, <laughs> the gear, the stick. gear stick, which appears to be f- fitted backwards. It also, um, the gear stick and, literally looks like a toy you'd find at Ann Summers. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely on backwards as well. hundred percent. That is that, on backwards. That that's that's an abo- it, the, Honestly, this is an <laughs> the abomination. Sc- <laughs> in the, car. the screens the, are the in inside. the fucking, The screens are in the visors. <laughs> oh, they, okay. So the inside has been color coordinated to late nineties, early two thousand uh, McDonald's play area. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I found a picture of the the guy in the front. Wait. Oh, so it's 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 a tribute, right? To let me see if I can Please find say Paul this. Walker. Please say it's Paul Walker. No, it's not Paul Walker. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a form. It's a fire form. would be really fitting. <laughs> it's a tribute to uh, wait, Tim Slaphead Briley. Yeah, I yeah, saw the, the name Slaphead. Let's go back to the podcast. Is it Ariton Senna tribute car? Oh my god, it is! It's Ariton Senna. Like it I is, wow. yeah, Formula yeah, One. But yeah, that's that's, that's Ayrton, that is Ayrton Senna, and I can I, I can tell because he's got the Marlboro suit on as well. Yeah, yeah. That is, so it's an Ayrton Senna because I mean because Ayrton Senna did drive for Honda. Yeah. So I guess the wheels have got flames really... on them as well. <laughs> yeah, I've just seen that. That's it's it's, it's, it's this is just an adventure. That car, that car is literally a time the... capsule. That is what that car is right now. It should be all <laughs> okay, so all the... in a museum. <laughs> I mean, it looks like... oh, okay. So it's his F one car on the side. Yeah, and oh, I there's another the picture of side. Him. It's that him. Um, and then I think the other side maybe looks like his helmet. I think it's, no, yeah. it's like his helmet was like face in it as well. Like he's got his arm. Yeah, because his because his helmet has the like the green and the yellow and the red stripe. But yeah, oh my god, it is. It's oh. it's an interesting if thing I to look died, at. If I died and someone made a tribute car like that, <laughs> I would come back from the dead and slap your shit. <laughs> it's, it's only done. It's only done three thousand miles because it's a fucking I, joke car. I don't believe that. that how that minute. can't be possible? Well, how how would he have I got it to all those amazing seat... shows where he won five stars and won awards when he got to? <laughs> if you took that to a show nowadays, you you'd be ridiculed and sent home. Like I could take a anime titty girl car to a show and get less flack than that. Yeah, you could. <laughs> oh, honestly, with with the kind of motoring scene at the moment, I just don't think you'd get any flack for a titty girl. No, well, you I probably can see wouldn't. On the odometer. Yeah, honestly, like motoring, like there's a lot more. Like I think even more now than before. Like Japanese culture is really, really kind of like getting. The J- lasted like it's, on everything. It's so, the JDM, the JDM car guys, and the weebs are becoming one, basically. <laughs> bro, basically. Noriaro, Noriaro, I think his name is on uh, YouTube. I, his videos are amazing because he goes to like every type of like car meet in Japan. 
Yeah. Japan. Well, you didn't you show me the video of him when he was driving? He was driving the A eighty six, and they pulled into a like a side slip road, and then a guy turned up in an RX seven, pulled up alongside him, and they just started having a chat. And then a random taxi driver drove into the parking spot so the wrong way I, around to take a picture. They, no, it was it was one of their friends was with them who'd got the RX seven, oh, right, and they were. Okay. It wasn't just a random slipping. That was the mountain where they based it Mount Akina off. Yeah. From um, initial, initial D. D. So they were driving about there because they were going up the mountain with this A86 in panda colours. Yeah. With Tofu in the back. Yeah, exactly. Tofu of water didn't they? on the front. Um, and they got the RX7 with them. Obviously, the uh, thing is FC. But there's a. Uh, he's done a. He did another video recently and it was from a while back where he went to just a um, A86 meet. Of course, there must have been so many nice ones. Of course, because they were in obviously, uh, I can't remember the name of the actual mountain, but where Mount Akina is meant to be and like where Initial D is set. Yeah, there was a couple of RX sevens there, like based off the thing. But oh mm. my god, the A the eight eight sixes were just they're in such good condition because people look after their cars there. They are. Yeah. Well, they don't they don't grit the roads in a lot of Japan as well. That's why imports are so sought after. Yeah. Well, they um, have, they it's have a um, shame really that A eight sixes. Gone. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just because you were saying about gritting, um, when I was learning Japanese, the tutor lived in Sapporo, um, so it's one of the areas where it goes ridiculously hot to fucking can't see anything for the blizzard kind of weather. Yeah. And the law literally is: as soon as it get reaches a certain part of the year, if you don't have snow tires, that car is not road legal, and you'll get a massive yeah. hefty fine for not yeah. having snow tires. That's what should be here. I honestly think it's just a case of you should just have, rather than gritting the roads and destroying cars, because it does, it destroys yeah. cars so quickly. Mm. They need to just sell. The other day, if you're buying a brand new car, what's the cheapest car you can buy? You're still looking at 10 grand? There's the a da- you, can get, you can get the Dacia Dunder. Duster for 6 grand. Let me what? see how much the Dacia is. That's because that's just cheap Chinese rip off bullshit. Hey, though, isn't but it? it's I don't think you can get the Duster for 6 grand. You can't get a duster for six grand. Can oh you? no, sorry, it's a Sandero. The Sandero that, is a it. starting price of seven grand. Yeah, and that is, I f- I'm sure okay, so that 7, is the cheapest car you can buy brand new on the road. We need to yeah, fix up honest. potholes as well first. So, see, and most people are buying probably more expensive cars than that. What is a cheap of just set steel cheap uh, set of cheap steel wheels with some winter tires that comes with a brand new car? It's maybe eight hundred pounds. I wouldn't even on. say that, depending on the car. I mean, for for my car, it would probably be about five hundred pounds because I can get winter tires for my car at fifty quid. They're literally fifty yeah. quid is higher. So yeah, tires over steel in Japan, wheels. Though. Tires over in Japan is so easy to get, like secondhand tires over there that are still like in decent nick. It's, yeah, it's well, something that happens. New, and I, I couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine that over here. It's like. Yes, yeah, second-hand tyres. Makes sense. Well, they have part you one tyres over here, but they, they just trash yeah. most of the time. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I've just had to spend 200 quid on some tyres of mine. <laughs> well, I'm not like, looking I've, forward to paying for I've on bought mine. some... Because I've literally... Because I've had a slow puncture for like, the past few weeks, and I've just used black circles to buy um, just all four tyres. Because with it being... They're good black circles. Yeah, well, with it being just a little Kia Picanto, the tyres are like so cheap it was 50 quid for these tires like, yeah i think they're called like nana king or nanking tires they were like nanking yeah nanking and they're basically uh, just cool tires, aren't they? Use, no they're um they use old i can't remember if it's bf good uh is it i think it's old good year moldings i think obviously it's their own compound but they yeah. use the same tread the same panels moldings, as yeah. old good but, years I could spend seventy quid and get some Kumho tires if if I wanted to, but it's like it's a Kia Picanto. It weighs for all. It's got no power as long as the tires are sticky enough to stick me to the road when I need to. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm not spending yeah, ridiculous amounts of money on those on that car's tires. It's just not worth it. But then you go to like when I had the Z4 and it was for the Pirelli P zeros that were on it. Oh, it was expensive. it was because it was the 19 inch alloys as well with the ultra low profile tires it was 250 pound a tire yeah 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 bike tires were like that as well like one bike tire was about 200 250 quid because they're yeah. such like 
They're really specialist compound. I yeah. got a really good deal on my Jimny tires. Actually, they were only seventy quid a corner, and they weren't small tires because they're all like big, beefy all terrain tires. Yeah. But they were actually only quite cheap. How much are the MX Five tires? Have you seen? Every... I've not looked yet. I don't I've really look they're probably circles. off off the top of my head. They're probably size wise somewhere between one eight five and maybe two oh five. They're yeah. probably one eight five. I bet you could get. Some, I bet you could get some cheap ones from Black Circles for like one forty. But there'd be ones where it's like you could have them. Oh, less than that. But you would. You could want probably them. get them for probably. I would say you could probably get some okay tyres for about 80 quid a corner for the MX-5, I reckon. Yeah. Mine currently are on it. The ones that I got on it, they're Bridgestone ones. I can't yeah. remember They'll exactly. be decent tyres. Yeah. Then. They'll probably be a bit more. But you I'd... could probably get some Nan um, some Nankings or something like that for fairly cheap. Yeah. A one, like... So it's saying 195.50s. Uh, let's have a look. How much is that? 195. Got? There you go. Yeah. Called it. Uh, yes, yeah, 75 for Avon Towers, so seventy five per tire. Avon, Avon are okay. Avon, are yeah, and then for like just like bug standard ones, it's like forty nine quid. I, I are honestly, they, are I'm not going to black circle zone. <laughs> yeah, it is. So yeah. I was like, mm, spicy. You know, if I want to go on the get on the fucking uh, on the toe gate and do some drifting, but no, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Kids. <laughs> that, oh, they're I'm literally the tires yeah. you buy if you want to shred them and not care. That's the kind of tire I, I they are. I shit up George yeah. the other day because it was a bit wet the other morning and I just fucking came out this corner and I just fucking sent it and it was still turns. So I just let the back end out. Luckily, traction control was on because he's there like, <gasps> fuck, and I'm like, let's go. He's not, he's not really a car guy, <laughs> is he though? <laughs> I well, still no, love he car, is. man. He is a car guy. He really likes cars. He, just he doesn't, doesn't know much about cars because he doesn't drive. Uh, like, fair you enough. start to learn more about cars. Like as soon as you like get a car and you drive it, you're like, "Yeah, you know, I know what I'm doing." Like, never, still... never let me drive your MX-5. Never let me drive it. <laughs> For your sake, don't ever let I me keep... drive it. <laughs> the only reason I don't like because my neighbour across the road he can't see on it because he's got one. He's like, "Turn that traction control off," and I'm like, "Boy, I'll be in a ditch within five seconds if I turn that off because I'll be fucking descending it around see, corners." I, I still, drifting. I still really want to drive your MX-5 just because I've never, I've had like, I would like to try one. I've had like three or four friends that have had MX-5s, and it's always been one of those things where like. I would have liked to have drove driven them, but when two of my friends had them, I wasn't driving. And then mm. when one of my other friends had one, it was like, well, why would I drive your MX-5 when I have my Z4? It... Yeah. I still... <laughs> I'm you, but better. <laughs> I still really want an OG MX-5. Like, yeah. I've driven... Um... I, know, I know someone that's got one that isn't it... moving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, um... Because Dad's got an NC at the moment, um, which I t took for a bit of a spin. Wasn't actually that impressed, actually. Like, it handled nice, but like I was amazed at how noisy it was inside, considering I'm used to my Jimny and stuff and my old MR2, and it was way louder than both of those inside. Yeah. Um, but it did handle nice, whereas I imagine yours is way more refined and nicer and stuff. But this yeah. Is, the, yours, yeah, is yours the uh, newest model one, Ryan? Uh, yeah. Or have they had you a face? You've got an RF, haven't you? Yeah, it's an RF. Yeah, it's it's I really, like really the like Mark the Four now, isn't it? So because there was yeah. there's Mark One, yeah, ND. You got your Mark Twos, which are where they got rid of the flappy headlights. Yeah, then you got the Mark Three, which looks like absolute fucking ND. dog shit. And then the late Mark, Mark Threes, which is what my dad's got, don't look too bad. Yeah, early, they started to like NA. push them up a bit, didn't they? Because I was yeah. looking at one. Well, it's NA, NB, NC, and ND. Mm. It's like with the RX Seven, FA, FB, FC, FD. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so NA's Mark One flip up lights. NB NBs have actually aged quite well. I quite. I didn't I, used to like them, but yeah. they look really of, nice now. I I was I've never been an MX Five fan personally. It's just ne they've never appealed to me as they have to a lot of people. They're always a car. It's like I'd like to drive one to try and see what everyone likes about them. One. But it's ne yeah, never never pulled me. But out of all of the MX Fives, obviously the original MX Five gets kind of it's a pass disgusting. just because of the it's the flappy headlights pop up headlights pop, they, they, pop up and down headlights they always get a win because of pop-up headlights the set mm. the is it the N M B is the mark two isn't NB, it? nb yeah it's yes, a, a, a b c d i remember like you said 
when you first see it, it, it didn't look good. But I think over time, it's, made, kind uh, of, wow. it's kind of worked. They've got really in. nice lines to them. They actually yeah. almost look like, uh, if, if you do them right, they look like a baby FDRX7 without the pop-up lights. It's, yeah. it's people who've got body kits for them. In, they you know, um, body kitted them, and they just look so nice. And like, there's an incredibly rare... Um, Japan only. They did an NB coupe that wasn't even a convertible. They I actually made I've a coupe that, yeah. LX5, and they're mega, mega rare. Um, and then obviously there's the NC, and the first of the NCs looks shit. They had this big round bulbous bumper with two little fog lights, and they looked like a fucking boat. Yeah, yeah. I think but I remember the seeing them. It's then like, they face. It, they, they look, they look bad. like the car that it's like the, the kind of like. That they got dropped on the head a little bit when they were born. Like the parents yeah, love them because the they have the to MX-5. love them. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but then they facelifted it and it looked a lot better. Like the later ones, that's the shape I... my dad got. And then you're onto Ryan's shape, which is the ND, which only came out in fifteen, I think. Yeah, yeah, I I can't wait to see what they do with the ND. Well, with the next generation, because the way they've been going with all their it'll other be a cars, while. They, yeah. All their other cars though look so nice. Like, and I got a. Uh, and Mazda 2 um, like with basically all the bells and whistles whilst they were looking at my MX-5 and I was like I'd actually like really like one of these cars because it was yeah. even though yeah it had all the bells and whistles it was just such a nice drive I was like yeah. this is a big yeah. car and I got if I didn't get and like the MX-5 and like with, with yeah. me it's only like, I've only had the jump from I drove a Fiesta for learning because you know that's basically learning yeah, it's either a Corsa or a Fiesta. Oh, I, um, mine was in a diesel Corsa. I, <laughs> I actually, I learned in a Peugeot. I, I did my lessons in a Peugeot, and I passed my test in a Citroen C2. Nice. And then I drove a micro. <laughs> Mentioning Peugeot. I loved that micro you guys had. <laughs> I, oh, I saw this video of this youth, and he's like, videoing himself driving his Peugeot, and he's like, God, I love fast cars. No, I was just like, boy, boy, just you I love fast the, the chat, like the the, the the comments on this video. And why are you driving a Persian? Persian, yeah, everyone's just going in on this guy. This guy's like, but I just I like mean, my car. I wanna, don't get me wrong, the... Persian did some good cars, but they one did. Of... Uh, credit to them, they've started putting out some really nice looking cars lately as well. They have had some good design stuff. I mean, just going back to that that Peugeot kid though, one of the things I used to fucking love doing because whenever I was in the Z4, I always have no matter where i was some boy racer would rock up next to me and like a fucking say it leon or like a fiesta st or something like that and they'd always pull up, Fabia. yeah they'd always pull up in shit like that and it's like they'd like look over and do the whole like oh, we've got to go for him gotta go for him because like mine was um i'm mine was pretty much debadged it didn't say the, the engine on it, it just had like S drive and Z4. It didn't say it was yeah. a three litre. So I'd always I'd go into first, I'd be with them, I'd, I'd just coast with them in first. And as soon as I'd get to the point, I'd just floor it. After they'd like, once you- they got to the point where they'd be <laughs> yes. like, like thinking they're like kind of keeping up and then just floor it and just leave them. Bye. <laughs> I had a, uh, I can't, I, it, I can't remember if it was a Civic or what. It was a Toyota. It was no, it was a Honda. Sorry, one was in Toyota. This Honda pulls up next to me, and like where they pull up, like I'm in the left hand lane. They pull up on the right hand lane, about to jump onto the A52 where we are. I'm like, they're like, they're looking at me. I'm like, what are you looking at me for? Like, you, like hello, <laughs> hi. Do you think you're gonna have me? I'm like, and they're like, they kind of give me this look, and then. I'm like, the light's here. And then they try and go for it. And I'm just like, see ya. <laughs> just like, <laughs> one second. Get around the corner. As soon as I'm around the corner, I'm just like, gone. <laughs> I'm just like, see ya. Yeah. I, I the best one of those I ever had. Because um, I've never really had it. I've, I've had a few like burn ups with people in my car when I had the uh, MR2. But nothing like insane. I did. I did upset a an M3 on Huffley Lane by my house, which was quite funny because it's like it's a road where you can't exploit power. So being in a light two seater, it's just like I'm not going anywhere. Hello. So the <laughs> best one I had was when I was on my Aprilia, um, and I was going down the dual carriageway just around the outskirts of Shrewsbury, and this Audi S5 came off the roundabout. And don't get me wrong, 
fast car. Yeah, but you can't compete with a, with a liter bike with buckets yeah, it's a, it's, of torque. It was, it was, a, it was a fucking 175 kilos. Yeah, wasn't yours a Tuono oh, you had? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, for, for reference, it had something like 1,100 horsepower per ton or something like that. So it was like, <laughs> I kind of came off the roundabout. I saw him put his foot down, but like just pulling away from him and the front wheels lifting, looking over like, hello. <laughs> and then like, pulling away on the back wheel, just like, I- I'm going now, goodbye. <laughs> my oh, pe- my that, people that need me. <laughs> oh, God, it was so... That was funny. That was, I had, um... That's the funniest one I've ever had. It wasn't a, a the best moment of like that I've had wasn't like the funniest moment and I didn't even actually win but it was just the most fun one I had and I was literally I think it was the first time I was driving my Z4 to my dad's house and he lives in the butt fuck middle of nowhere on the way to like Lincoln from Nottingham so there's mm. loads of like B roads that you do and there was this one bit where um you go through like a village. And some guy in a, it was a, what was it? It was, it was like a Porsche Boxster. It was like the top of the line. Like, mm. I don't even think it was a Boxster. I think it was one of the lower end Caymans. It was a good Porsche. And it was a nice looking Porsche. They're, it was, you know, they're all yeah. pretty decent to be yeah, honest. It None wasn't of them it, bad. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't the hairdresser looking one. It was like the kind of mean looking ones. Um, I'm Probably sure it was a Cayman S. Yeah, like I that. think I'm sure it was a Cayman. I could be wrong, but anyway, so he pulled out in front of me, and we're just going down this B road, and I went, "Let's try this." So there's See if you I, him on. <laughs> well, I, I I knew the road just because of one. I was obviously at the sat nav up anyway, just because I was using it for the traffic, but also I'd done the route like once or twice before, so I knew just round this one turn it was going to be a, a perfect flat and a perfect straight and he wasn't really going at like what you'd expect someone to go with in that kind of car so i just overtook him on that straight and that's it that that was that was the kind of moment where it was like remember Switch in game, flipped. you know when you're in games and like feel like need for speed underground you'd flash them with the headlights and that's it a random impromptu race would start that's literally how yeah. it happened i overtook him and that was it we <laughs> we fucking went and there was this one bit where come around another turn and he goes to overtake me i drop a gear trying to keep up but i just couldn't keep up with him because he was in a faster car (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's always fun i don't think i've ever had that but um i do remember a very good one when i was a kid actually uh when we were in the car my dad and we had a subaru impreza wr1 which was a pro drive limited run they made they only made 500 of them and that thing was fucking quick that thing was like horrifyingly quick i want to say it was I don't remember what horsepower they are. Upper three hundreds, maybe low four. I can't remember, and yeah. weighs nothing. But then it had all the pro drive diffs in it as well, so it was just like that thing was a missile. And we were coming home from a meal the one night, and these uh, boy racers in a Corsa like kind of tried to like get Agus on. My dad just fucking <laughs> just, just left. Kind of, we, uh, <laughs> shot. God, that was a good car. I mean, it's a shame because I was too young to really appreciate what it was, but now it's just like that was a very rare car and also just really cool i still remember when um joe got his um m5 um because me and becky had come down to your uh, come over to your house ollie and joe had turned up literally day one of getting his m5 so it was like oh we'll oh. We'll, we'll all we'll all get him we'll all go tesco and we're oh, in this God. m5 this ridiculously <laughs> powerful so nice M5, Sounded and he's good. just driving, and like, I think there was like one turn because he had the traction control off, obviously, because it's Joe. Um, go around yeah. one turn, and then we had a very, very, very brief moment of oh, oh, yeah, that was that was what I thought it was, wasn't it? Yeah, Becky at this point is like, what, what? Because she doesn't like any of this stuff, and then we're pulling into <laughs> fu- we're pulling into fucking Tesco, and obviously, all Tesco's have the little roundabout. He starts going around yeah. the roundabout. All of a sudden, full oversteer. Controls it, does it as normal, and carries on without yeah, batting yeah. an eyelid. Doesn't say anything. I'm laughing in the back. Becky's like, what, what, what? And literally, he's perfectly silent until he pulls up into the parking spot and goes, that wasn't meant to happen. And then just gets out the car and carries on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> my favorite, Sorry, my foot slipped off the clutch. <laughs> my favourite moment is with my with driving, and it's not even in my MX-5, and it's like the only time I've actually like drifted with a car and it was because it was icy it was a snow <laughs> it was snowy 
and I'm going up uh, to Castle Donington Way towards near the airport where I used to work up at the back of there. And there's a few roundabouts and I'm going up and I'm like, I kind of went in. I put a little bit of speed in there. Front wheel drive, fucking little shitty Clio, like 1.2 litre. And the back yeah. of I just handbraked it. I was like, fuck it. Back you got back. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. There's like all these people behind me, like, what a dick. And I'm like, let's go. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's like, guess, guess, guess. <laughs> I, I, um, I, go on, Rob. You, you, you go, Ali. You go, Ali. Because I've had a few. I was just going to say, um, because to be fair, every single time we've had a really good snow, I've been in a front wheel drive car. It never snowed when I had the MR2 and it's never snowed when I've had the Jimny and sod's law. Whatever I get next, it's probably going to be front wheel drive and it's going to fucking snow again. Yeah. But I, I remember, want um, to snow so bad. We, we had a really like good a snow. We had a really good snow when I had the micro and it snowed so much that it actually jammed one of the rear wheels up. Not that you could tell because it was so slippy. So it just slid along. It just the carried on. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there's a, we actually have a video and you can see me driving past and the re- one of the rear wheels just isn't moving because it's so clogged <laughs> with snow. Um, but we have, uh, did you ever see the little black KA I drove for a little bit before I had the Jimny? I think you might have seen it. Yeah, might, I think I saw I it briefly. It last time you came here. Yeah, and, and, um, I, and I, I think there snow. was a point where you said you wanted to get me in it to like to like see what I looked that like might have been in the it. Beat. That might have been the beat because that was tiny. You would have fit in that actually. I got um, one of my co-workers who I think is about your your height, possibly even taller actually, and he fit in it. Um, but uh, when we had the KA, we had a good snow and fair play. That car was fucking good in the snow. I put some uh, Kumo extras on it, and it did really well. But again, you could kind of like jam it on the handbrake to kind of coax it. And I figured out how to like turn into junctions using the handbrake so I could just like drift into the junctions. <laughs> it was so funny. Just like a, coming up to a junction, normal, you know, it was really snowy and it obviously was snowing so much that the grit on the road wasn't working. It, everyone was just creeping along like five miles an hour. And just like, I was going slow as well. This is little clear about, this junction, it. about, about 10, 10, 15 miles an hour, but I'm just going, rather than just going, <laughs> and it would just be... the corner, like it would just like, and then the back end would come out and just really slowly drift it, and then just carry on. Like, <laughs> it, it, if it was sped up, it would look like a really extreme drift. But it was just like <laughs> in slow motion, just going. Oh, if Initial D was done in the UK and yeah. on a budget, <laughs> oh, it was so it's, it's, it's like, like, have you seen yeah. the? Um, have you seen that it was the um, ultra cheap cosplay guy? It's like, yeah, that, that is that is what your drift was then. It was just ultra cheap cosplay of an initial d in the uk basically yeah i think uh, like, it, i'd really like to see like with, i know there's quite a, there must be a few tracks around but i don't think there's as many tracks like you, you know you see japan they've got all these kind of like tracks where you just take drift your car, like, and they do that all the time and it's not like you know you've got all these fucking event days on like we do it's just like this is literally for people to go and race and drift like drift yeah. tracks i'd really like to see a couple of That's those around because like on. I think there I is a few, but like you said, I think I think they're only really for events. Um, just I think the problem, just, is, like, just briefly okay. before we we go on, just because you was on about like that snow drift, it just reminded me of um, a situation I I did to Becky back when I had the four series. So the four series was it was the X drive. So whenever I tried to like coax it when I was in like the car parks and stuff, it just didn't do much until we had slush and snow went to do the shop black ice black ice went, well we went to do the shop and as because it was night because we used to go shopping at night anyway as I was leaving I went let me just uh, put put this uh, into no traction control mode and just have a bit of fun so I just drifted a little bit like coming out of the car parking space and then out onto the road and Becky was just having a massive go at me but then like I think it was the week after the snow had pretty much all but gone and as we got back to the car, Becky went, ah, you won't be able to do that drifting on me again this time. And I literally just looked at her <laughs> and just went, oh, you really shouldn't have fucking said that. So I literally just <laughs> yeah. turned, turned the traction control off. And it was a fucking automatic as well. Traction control off. The, the hardest sport setting you could put it in. And I just literally 
overcooked it to the maximum. Literally just so I just spun out. And she's just in the, <laughs> she's in the car, like, slapping me like, no, 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 you shouldn't do it. Stop doing this and be in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what I had envisioned then was when she said that, oh, you can't do that drifting now. You know, the monkey meme where it like, gives the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I could think. I, like, I, I was more thinking <laughs> the goofy one, which is, I'll fucking do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> 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 she's there she's there oh. doing goofy fucking wake me up wake me up <laughs> save <laughs> me <laughs> save me I think it's every man's responsibility to at some point in their life make their other hot off uncomfortable in the car because I always drift the chimney because it's so fucking easy on the even though it's only 83 horsepower it's also on massive all-terrain tyres that have no grip on wet tarmac yeah. so you just send it round the roundabout I remember um because we had that really bad flooding at the start of the year so loads of the roads were closed and the one industrial estate um, the one night it was really stormy as well and fucking absolutely belting it down. But you couldn't get, no one could get onto the industrial estate because it was flooded. Well, obviously I was in the chimney of a snorkel. So I got through the water and I had an industrial estate to myself. <laughs> so it was literally this massive roundabout. It must be about 50, easily 50 meters in diameter, like quite a big one. And I just put it in first and just fucking got up to speed in first and then dumped the clutch in second and then just bounced it off the limiter and I was just doing laps to this roundabout in the chimney in the rain oh god that was because so, I know I can do this because no one can stop me it's, it's, <laughs> no one's going to come by because it was flooded to get in so just like I just had this whole industrial estate just to fuck around on. it was so funny it's, you just remind me of this I'm sure there's a meme like this, I'm making macaroni and cheese and no one can fucking stop me it's just you oh, it in the just, chimney and no one can it was Stop me! Wipers to full speed because it was belting it down. There's loads of standing water. Headlight songs. It was like they're just going, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> like really slowly drifting this round. Well, how, how, how fast? How, how fast was the actual drift? Was it like a thirty mile an hour drift it, kind of thing? No, like, like maybe 15, 20 miles an hour. <laughs> That's <laughs> even better because <laughs> it's got no grip on those tires. If you're Euro really, beat intensifies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's, it's just euro beat intensifies but it's at like half speed so rather than being it's just it's like it's classical it's like uh like spoken word jazz gas 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 some walking jazz with some like random dissonant <laughs> notes <laughs> the police get oh, called they're like we've got to stop this guy a police officer literally just walks up to it opens the door and you <laughs> just <laughs> takes the keys <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's another funny thing i can do with the chimney the ignition barrel so fuck that while the engine's running and it's locked in ignition you can still pull the key out so i do this thing every now and then where i'll be driving i'll go can you just hold this a minute and just throw them the key i'm sure like... i'm sure that's a vine that happened where it was just like um hey you've been drinking too much you can't drive give me your keys he just takes the keys out while he's driving and carries on it's good we can go home now <laughs> my, fav- my favorite one's the one where they go like somebody says something about their car and they're like right you you lost, you lost airbag permit, permit privileges. They pull out the keys. They turn off the cat passenger airbag with the keys. Put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going out, we're going out. What do you have to do to lose airbag permissions in someone's car? <laughs> they said something about the car. You can't like, drift it again. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to drift it and turn your airbag off, bitch. <laughs> See, my, the airbags in the passenger seat on mine work off, like, weight, so it can tell when somebody's sat in it. You can still turn them off. Seat. Yeah, you can still turn them off, because it's, um, it's, that's the same in most modern cars, where the yeah. airbags will only go off um, on certain areas if it's sensed that there's someone in those areas. But you can still turn the passenger airbag for like the frontal one off because obviously there's some baby seats which will be reverse facing. So yeah, if you've yeah. got the airbag on at reverse well, facing, why you've been putting a baby it's just seat like, in how, how did your baby get yeeted out of the rear window when you crashed? 
Uh, yes. Well, <laughs> he lost his airbag privileges. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the issue. He just regained them as I crashed. <laughs> See, he regained them and he from... abused them, and now he's lost them again. <laughs> You'd have to have a really slimline baby seat, otherwise, like, because otherwise, I would be able to see out the left baby side of the car. <laughs> he's on, like, he's on the Atkins have a really diet, boys. Slimline baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's on keto. <laughs> <laughs> I think my keto baby. I think that's sorry. I've just I've just got on the the episode names. So that's keto keto baby loses hair back privileges. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my last like thought on having a two seat car though is thank God people don't sit there and like I have to. I give George lifts in the morning, which part of me regrets, part of me doesn't, because I have to go through long eating, which is a fucking shit show. Whatever. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. Uh, and I can't send it very well with George in the car. No offense, George. You're just a little bit bigger than usual. So it's... <laughs> when, when you're trying to lose weight on an MX-5, you know, it's literally what you've got in it. It's, the, it's not he, taking he's, stuff off He's it. trying to do weight reduction, bro, but he's got a passenger who won't do weight reduction. Well, no, no. What, what you need to do is take the spare wheel out, and then when you inevitably have a puncture, you'll have to call your mum and ask her to bring the spare wheel. <laughs> yeah, no, it's happened again. Spare, <laughs> you know? spare wheel? What is this? What is this spare wheel you talk of? You don't have uh, one. Dude. You've got puncture foam? repair kit. I've got foam. I've got that foam. Yeah. What? Or fu- or, or fuck, fucking chuck your foam out then. Oh, I it's could take. I could useless take anyway. the, uh, the tow rods. I could take the tow rods out and stuff like that. That you to hook it up to be towed. I could take those out. That'd be all right. I've, I've, got a spare, also, I've got also, a spare wheel bolted to my doors. <laughs> you, you could also, you know, get rid of all the hairdressing equipment. That might help. That's the engine, bro. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's running off hair dryers. Six hair dryers, bro. <laughs> say, oh, I, I, I see even a forced induction mod. You open it up, it's just a babbleless <laughs> hair dryer into the intake. <laughs> just I'm, on I'm, full, it's on full chat all the time. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm still, I'm still yet to take a picture of my engine. And just put. I really want to put my. I've actually got a bab of this hair dryer. <laughs> 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 like, oh, like, well, it seems to be a problem with the engine. Just do all those videos. Open up. I'm like, ah, just put uh, the hair dryer. No, no, just you know, what, what, you need to, what you need to do is you need to have it so the hair dryer's in there, and just have it so all your spark plugs are loose. So when you oh there's something oh, wrong with my engine, it's not going right. So open it up so there's like a fucking hairdryer in there and a straightener in there, and then just pull the spark plugs out and go, Oh yeah, that's the issue, that's the issue. And then shut it and carry on. on. <laughs> and then go <laughs> better one and then cut back into the car and start shit. <laughs> it starts perfectly. You should use um, you should use the um, you should use a pair of hair straighteners like a spanner and do them back <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm like I'm about to change gear, and I put my I, I like I cut to my hand, and it's like grabbing hold of like a strimmer, or like a trim. It's like yeah. Oh, you do I'm, uh, as oh, I'm repainting my car, and then have like the little brush for bleaching hair and the foil. <laughs> <laughs> In all serious, no. In all serious, no. I will. I will. I don't know what the if, like the actual name is it for it, but I will put big titty anime girls on my car. If okay, we we get a GoFundMe and it gets funded, I will do it. I will do you, it. You, my you know for a fact you'll oh, instantly you'll instantly get like pulled over by the cops. Like, is this allowed? Is this allowed? I know. <laughs> this is allowed. I'll do it. I don't know. Not how many people actually do that? No. There was a there was a, a Nissan Cube, I think it was. Oh god, in, I think uh, I know exactly the one you're on about. You, fucking uh, high school of high school DXD, is it? Yeah. Is that the one? I know. Is it high school of the dad? No, high Am school I... DXD. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for it because it's. I remember seeing it. and It's so funny. High school of the dead. It's got. It had high school of the dead on it, and it was in. It was in the East Midlands because I saw it in fucking in in Beeston. I was like, yo, what mad motherfucker got this cube and got like just massive anime titties all over it? <laughs> it's like the most ugly car ever, but then they're like, but it's got It's anime just titties. got like the best anime artwork ever because it's High School of the Dead. <laughs> so as a result, it's just a normal car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I don't know what they were thinking when they built those. They went, made them. They were just like how a kid draws a car where it's like square. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah, like that Homer. It's like that Homer car, but worse <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 
yeah. um, we much. do we do need to close up. So <laughs> I think okay. it's put been... your hair dry, you neutral boys. It's time to end the stream. <laughs> it's <laughs> throw back. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed talking shit about some of these cars because, like, I honestly thought we was going to talk about some of the lemons we've owned, but we've actually just talked funny car stories, Another time. which is, which is <laughs> I've not just as fun. <laughs> I've literally I've owned two cars. Like, what, what do you want me to talk about? Oh, the I've, shag wagon, I've, the the Clio, the shag wagon. I've, I've to owned be fair, one... I've owned some quite interesting cars over the years. Yeah, you've you've got a, quite a good history for like, cars. Mine's just like. I've owned a full lemon, an amazingly good car that is also a lemon, and then two kind of standard cars after that. But I've, I've driven a handful of cars because of the amazingly good car that was a lemon was always in the fucking garage. I'm going to get a new car. I'm going to get a new car, boys. Oh, he's doing I it. I have a new car. And Ollie is I'll, doing I'll... it. And I'm still here See? with my shitty Picanto. <laughs> I mean, Dad doesn't think the Clio is going to last much longer because we've hit like ninety thousand miles and it's quite low geared. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's, it's made of spitting clean air. When, that's, when my that's, dad, they're, they're, to... they're easy numbers, boys. My Celica had one hundred eighty six thousand miles on the clock when I bought it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that, like he's. They've been talking about getting a new like family car, like big car. Which I was meant to go on the insurance for the the Z Tech, but they didn't. But if they do a, get up, I'm like, well, XKF. maybe I should. <laughs> I'd be there like, boys, looks like we're getting a Honda Civic, full spec. <laughs> Mate, after after the one I drove today, like, I mean, I was I thoroughly enjoyed the I'm Civic. I'm talking we drove Type today. R here. We're going we're going full out there, Type R. That's fucking <laughs> Yeah, I, I did say to them, like, oh yeah, because my wife's buying one. Can I drive the Type R? And he went, I'd love to, but the manager has taken it on holiday with him. What a cunt! <laughs> Actual fuck. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna. Can I close come back in test driving? <laughs> yeah, I did that for the GTR. But yeah, we're gonna um, close off the stream for the day. So, if you've got any questions, queries, uh, car memes, or vines, or TikToks you want to send over to us, you can do that on the Twitter, which is at Context Needed One. If you want to speak to us in a more formal manner, as we always say, this needs to be a 4,000 word essay. There needs to be an abstract at the front and all site, all sources need to be cited in Harvard referencing at the end. Uh, that they all sense. need to be quill written as well. Yep. I've, quill, uh, quill written. New standard quill written and scanned into the computer and then emailed over. I, I agree. No, with they also need to be stamped with a, a wax seal as well. Oh yes, Ooh. definitely. Like but proper yeah. mail it. We'll get a PO box. Yeah, we'll get a PO box, especially for those. But all the es essays they need to be sent to contextneededuk at gmail dot com. But from me, the the big man with a small car, Kyle. From hairdresser boy Ryan. I've, I do good rates. I'll, I'll cut your hair. <laughs> and, and, what a mullet. I can get you a mullet. <laughs> and Eurovision goes slowified. Ollie. Eurovision? Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll we'll take it. <laughs> Eurovision. It's like, just it's like Eurobeat, it, but like just not grits. as good. <laughs> Always I want to be with you. I, I, just, I can imagine you just in the chimney doing a drift with that playing. Yeah, I will. I'll have to do that before it goes. <laughs> I'll record it. Yeah, from all from all of us here at the Context Needed Podcast, thanks everyone for watching, thanks everyone for listening, and we will see you guys next time. See you later. <laughs> do a flip. Do a flip. <laughs>